What's up, y'all? It's a 71 degree day so far. So I'm doing spring stuff. Spring slash summer is coming. So look at, I got ceiling fans running. And look at this. I installed a screen door on the front of the house. Look at that. All by myself. Yeah. I followed the directions. I, there's no way I could have done it without following the directions. So as a last resort, I looked at the directions. But it turned out really nice. Check this out too. Doesn't that look nice? And look, I've been starting to put some battens on the house as well. So I'm staining those with two coats, cutting them to the right size and nailing those on. And I'll show you one other cool thing, hang on. Walk along the back deck here. We got my buddy Colin Scoltons over here working on the mini split. That little unit right there is gonna keep us cool. Like usual, we go from winter directly to summer. Last week, 35 degrees. This week, 90. So I'm outside working in the shade. I gotta build cabinet doors. So that's what I'm working on right now. Next week actually looks a little better, like 60s and 70s. Why can't we do that for like three months before we go to 90 degrees? Pure Michigan. All right, here I go. So all I'm doing for these cabinet doors is I'm taking my one by 12 here that's 10 feet long, cutting it up. Actually, I'm shaving it down to 10 or ripping it down to uh, 10 and a half inches and then cutting these 19 and a half inch tall pieces on my miter box. And then what I got to do is I'm going to put two of them together like that. I'll probably chamfer these edges so it has that barn look and then I'll put, uh, I'll I'll uh, gang them up together with a cross member, two cross members on the back. They're gonna be nice, thick, heavy doors. I'll sand them down good, paint them white, put some hinges on them and stick them on. So nothing terribly exciting, but I think they're gonna look really cool when they're done. So just with my Makita orbital sander and some 80 grit, I'm taking these from this really rough sawn surface with sharp edges here and sanding it just enough to make it smooth, kind of rounding off all these edges, giving it kind of a real rough uh, farmy look. So that's about it there, pretty simple. All right, so we got the mini split going today because it's like 90 degrees. Got the AC running. And listen, you hear all the noise that this thing makes? Yeah, that's my point. It doesn't make any noise. It's not like, it's not like a central air unit where it's noisy. You can tell when it kicks on. This thing is so quiet. Like it's running right now. It's quiet. All right, so I'm gonna put a coat, one coat of the uh, Pongo white, same thing we've done with all the other cabinets and walls. Pongo is going on these boards and especially the uh, inside edge here because I'm gonna put two of these boards together. I'm gonna leave a tiny gap like that in between them. So I gotta make sure that gets painted white before I assemble them because it would be hard to do after. There's not uh, a brush that tiny. So I'm gonna get that done in a minute. I'm like Panama mat. I love this hat, keeps the sun off my head and makes me look super cool. So one of my goals in the next week, cause next week the temperatures are supposed to be pretty nice and I have a few days off, two days off anyways, is to get my carport moved from the other house over to here. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to just take it completely apart and uh, bring it over here. Sounds like a lot of work, but it's gotta be done. Cause right now my boat is just sitting there in the blazing sun 
and I want to keep it covered up at least a little bit. So that's my goal. Hey, want to see the inside mini splits? I'll show it to you in a second. So this is the mini split in the master bedroom. We have two of them, one in the living area and one in here. So it's running right now. You hear it? Just barely, it's super quiet, but it's blowing out some really nice cold air and keeping it cool in here. Right now it's 74 degrees and it's like 88 or something outside. And then we just have this remote that it runs by. So that's the remote for our ceiling fan. This is the remote for our mini split. We got one for each of them. It's pretty cool. They're supposed to be super efficient too, but they're very quiet. I can tell you that. Man, it looks like we live here now. Stuff everywhere, but it's nice and cool in here. I got the ceiling fans running and we have the mini split up there cranking out the cool air. Oh yeah, that feels good. And then over here we got the, the thermostat, but the thermostat for the mini split is on the remote. So, oh yeah, 72 degrees in here and it's quiet, super quiet. Well, as you can see, I still have my camper. I haven't sold it yet. But I told you guys I was desperate to build a garage. So we're doing it anyways. I went to the bank and I took out a loan. Didn't want to do it. I was hoping I could sell my camper, but look at I'm in my shed right now. It's nice and cool in here. Didn't want to do it, but I need the garage. So called up my buddy Hoff, the builder, Tony Hoffman. And got a price on, on framing in the, the lean-to garage and the uh, lean-to porch. And went and took out a loan for twenty five grand on five years. So I think I can pay it off way sooner than five years. If I sell my camper, I'll pay it off right away. Count on it. So that's the deal. No mortgage, but I did have to take out a loan to get the garage. So... I will be filming that soon. Can you hardly wait? Can you stand it? It's coming. Garage. All right, so here is how simple the construction is. I have two of those. And if we look at the back side, I just joined them together with some drywall, drywall screws and some cross members. Everything's kind of sanded down smooth. I think I'm just gonna leave the backs of them raw pine unpainted. Now all of my uh, doors have to be slightly different sizes. So I'm just going to go from the center out and cut just a little bit off each side, put a fresh coat of paint on there. And then I can get some hardware and hang these things up and Mrs. Z will be so happy. That's so nice. My buddy Jason and uh, the boys from Beaver Tree Service have uh, finally come over and got rid of all that brush along my road. My neighbors, neighbors being people that have to drive down my road. So I don't have any close neighbors, but they'll be happy. Ginger, you inspecting my work, huh? All right, so I did it. I got the uh, bottom cabinet doors all on. They turned out really nice. Exactly how I wanted them to. Old farmy rough sawn. Cool. I got these cool knobs here that match the, the drawer poles. And then on the inside, I did the little magnet thing. So I got that right there, which pops them shut good. So they're just put together with those little battens right there. And sucks shut and I like it I like it really nice so the next thing I got to do here I got the top coat finally from uh, stone coat countertops look I've got a leftover piece of pizza there if anybody wants it so I got to put the top coat on there which will give it a satin finish and then I can trim 
and I can do all this drywall back here with the uh, rusty uh, corrugated steel like I did on the other wall over there. So that's going to be our, our uh, backsplash. And it sounds like Mr. Bennett wants out. What you doing, Bennett? What are you doing? You wanna come out of your kennel? Wanna go for a walk? Ginger does. All right, let's go for a walk. Well, it's Saturday, May 21. The day after my wife and I celebrated our 27th anniversary. She stuck with me for that long. Hopefully she continues. I think she will. She's pretty awesome. So I'm working on the house today. Check out what I'm doing. It's finally a nice enough day and I don't have to guide today. So I'm working on staining the upper half there. And then what I have to do is I have to add trim to the top peak there. And then I can start doing the battens up there. So I've already started the battens here and I gotta continue working my way over to the other side, but they look really cool. So before I can continue with that, I have to add the trim around the doorway and around the window. That's gotta go on first before I can continue the battens but it's coming together really nice. Okay, it's May 25, my wife's birthday. And I'm working on siding. Check it out. So I'm working on getting the rest of the battens up there. You can see I'm working my way across here, but it's looking really good. I did the uh, trim pieces along the top there. I did the trim on the doors and the window. She's all coming together. I'll give you a distance view here. And that looks so nice. And we're gonna do the, the lean-to porch off the front like that. I'll probably do black sheet metal on that roof and that'll wrap all the way around that side of the house too. So around the front and the side. Garage coming off this side here. So all that smart panel right there. I'm not going to paint because it has to be covered with drywall anyways. So I also put one coat of stain on these side pieces right here, but you can tell the difference between one coat of stain versus two coats of stain. I like the two coats of stain better, nice and dark. So my wife got a couple hibiscus plants, actually three of them, one for, for Mother's Day and then two for her birthday. Those are pretty much the only plants that thrive under her care. So I'll show you what I did. So I went and got some potting mix and a couple of these cool little whiskey barrel things to put them in and put them on our front deck here so they look all nice and fancy. So I think the rain might hold off hopefully for a little while. I'd like to work on some more of this uh, battens and trim today. We've been getting a lot of rain lately, but I'm gonna try to get some stuff done there. Oh, look at this, Mrs. Z will love this. Don't those look nice? Adds a little touch of hominess to the front of the house. This is the one she got for Mother's Day, so it's a lot bigger than the other ones. But those will catch up, I'm sure. I think I made a good choice. Good choice. Once in a while, I get it right. What you doing, Bennett? Are you getting all dirty? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You digging a hole and getting dirty? I don't know if your mama would be happy with that. 